Hey there and welcome to the club and welcome to another art challenge. Today we'll be transforming a silverback gorilla into a mighty superhero. So I'm going to start with the brow line. So he's got a very fierce and protruding brow. So I'm going to start on the left side. I'm going to curve down towards the inside of the face. Curve. And then I'm going to pull in the frown line. So just doing a hard turn that goes up. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Starting on the inside this time, I'm going to leave a little gap in the middle. I'm going to draw a curve coming down. And I'm going to work my way out to the outside of the eye. Let's go ahead and tuck in the eyeballs underneath. So it's basically a half circle. We're going to leave a little gap on the left. Circle around. Tuck this in underneath the eyebrow. We're going to go to the right side and do the same thing. So starting up here. Circle around and tuck that in underneath the eye. We're just going to extend this out just a little bit to match up with the left side. From here, I'm just going to draw a little eye bang. So on the inside of the left eye, I'm just going to pull a curve out. And do the same thing on the right side. From here, let's draw in the nose. Starting in the middle, we're going to draw the nose right in between each of the eyes. So start with a U shape. And I'm going to take this point and just curl it out and tuck that in underneath that U on the left. And on the right, we'll color that in black. Now the gorilla's nose is pushed up, almost like a pig. So we're just going to make it look like you're just seeing the front face of the nostril. So from this side, we're going to curve around and come down in the middle. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. So curving around the nostrils and then back in. From here, let's go ahead and draw in a giant mouth. So I'm going to start on the left side. Underneath this eye, I'm going to draw a big curve going down in the middle. And back up on the right side. Now we're going to turn down the ends. So on the left, I'm just going to curve it out. On the right, we'll do the same thing. And we're going to give him a big open mouth so we can see his fangs. So what we're going to do is we're going to curve the outside and then we're going to come up in the middle. So on the left side, we're going to do a little overhang. Curve down to the outside of the mouth. Go to the right side, step in. Curve out to the outside of the mouth. Now these two are going to curve in towards the center point. So from here, I'm going to curve up and then start to come down on the right side and just blend that in. We're going to give him some fangs on the top. So on the left side here, just below the eye, we're going to curve in and we'll taper this underneath the mouth. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So here, we're going to curve in and we'll taper that underneath the top of the mouth. We'll do the same on the bottom. We're going to show a little bit of the bottom row of teeth. So inside here, we're going to curve up. We'll do the same thing on the right side. We're just going to try to balance this out as we go. We'll pull this in just a little bit, a little gap here. Now we're going to close that with a little curve for the bottom row of teeth. Let's go back up to the eyes. I'm going to draw a little bit of a darkened outside edge of the eyes. So on the outside here, I'm just going to curve around the outside of the eye. We're going to color that in black. Let's go and do the same thing on the right side. So starting at the bottom, we'll curve and taper out, color that in black. Now, the gorilla has a really protruding big uh, brow area. So we're going to start in between the eyes. Right up here, we're going to put a point. From this point, I want to circle around the eye to the side of the temples. So from this point, I'm going to curve out and just pull this in towards the eye. I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. So I want to make sure I end up at the same spot. Curving around the eye, pulling that in like that. We're going to give them a little bit of fur on the side of the cheeks. So from this point, I'm going to curve out, I'm going to pull that back in. I'm going to curve out with a longer line, and we'll pull that back in. Let's do the same on the right. So we're going to curve out, in, out, and then in. Now from these two points, we're going to curve around to the bottom of the chin, but I'm not going to close the mouth or the chin off here. I'm just going to end off almost on the side, just below the mouth here. So on this side on the left, I'm just going to curve and just pull that in like that. On the right, I'll do the same thing. So curving around, just pulling it in like that. We're going to give them a little bottom lip here. So right here, I'm just going to draw a little curve like that. From this point, let's draw in some ears. So up here, he's got some really tiny ears. So I'm just going to draw a little curve tucked in behind the fur. And inside, we'll just draw a curve for the inner ear detail. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So curving around and a little curve for the inner ear detail. We're going to make the head. So the head is actually almost pinched in at the top. So it's almost like a triangle. So from just the sides of the head, just above the brow, we're going to come in towards a rounded point up here. So just keeping our eye on the center, we're going to start above this eyebrow, just stepping in, and we'll curve over. We're going to do some hair tufts on the top, so we're going to pull it back, we'll do it one more time, pulling out, and back in. From this point, we're going to curve to the top of the right brow. So from here, 
curve down and in. Up here, we're going to do a few more frown lines. So from the center, I'm going to curve to the left, curve to the right, and we'll draw a few forehead wrinkles. So I'm just going to draw a couple curves just above like that. Okay, from this point, I'm going to draw the character hunched over almost like a knuckle walker. So you're going to see mostly arms. You won't see much of the body, the lower body or the legs. So let's start with the tops of the shoulders. So I'm going to bring the shoulders really high up. We're going to bring this down eventually down to the arms here. Starting up here, I'm just going to draw the top edge of the shoulder. Now I'm going to give them a metal vest, so it's going to look pretty cool. From here, I'm going to curve down to the left, and then down towards the right, making sure they're almost lined up here. We're going to curve this in underneath the head. From this point, I'm going to curve in, and I'll just probably peek up behind that fur. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So starting at the same height, curving across like that. Let's give it a little bit of trim. I'm just going to trace that outer edge on both sides like that. Now we can work our way down towards the arms, starting with the shoulders. So we're going to do shoulders and then big, huge forearms. So right up here, we're going to step in a little bit. I'm going to draw a little bit of fur on the shoulder. Pull that back in, out again, and then in. And now this is going to come in towards the arm. Okay, so it's like a nice little curve there. And here on the right, we're going to step in and do that same thing. So drawing some fur in like this. Now we're going to pull that in towards the top of the arm. Now this is going to work our way to the top of the arm. So with the arms, I'm going to actually give them some big metal power gloves. So we're going to start with the outside of the arm. So stepping up here on the left side, I'm going to curve down just like that. We're going to move over. I want to draw the tops of the forearms. So just going across, I'm probably going to have the arms sort of inward. So starting here, I'm going to curve in like that. We're going to step in about halfway down this line and we're going to draw a curve like that for the bicep. And across this, I'm just going to draw a curve that intersects both lines, kind of like that. So it just overlaps like that. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So I'm going to start with the outer edge of the arm, curving down to above there, making sure they're lined up. Up here, I'm going to make the thickness or the width of the arm the same. So right here, I'll draw the top of the arm, step into about halfway down this line, and just draw a curve for the bicep. Now we're going to draw that curve. So from the left side of that arm, we'll go over to the right, making sure that it overhangs a little bit. And from here, I'm going to draw in the arm. So we'll start with the outside part of the arm first. From this point, I'm going to curve down to the outside of the fist. Now from the inside, now this part is going to be flattened because it's going to be like this. You can see the bottom of the knuckles here. I want to kind of come in and pinch it in a little bit. So curving in like that. So these curve in towards each other. I'm going to draw the thumb. So you're going to see the thumb in towards the knuckles. So we're going to do a slight overlap. I'm going to draw a curve, like a half circle that comes around like that. In here, I'm going to draw a little bracket. And then stepping over a little bit, I'm going to draw a curve coming down. We're at the same height as I have on the outside of the hand. From here, I'm going to connect those two points with a curve that comes down, then back up. We'll come back to this with some more detail. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. Starting with the outside, I want to make sure that the bottom corner is aligned. So it's the same height. And at the front of the arm, curve down like that. And we're going to draw the thumb curve. So draw a curve like this. We'll draw that little bracket. And we're going to draw this curve here for the finger. So stepping in, curving down. So we're basically just mirroring what we see on the left towards the right. We'll connect those two points with a curve. Now let's draw a little bit of detail. I'm going to do a little band up here just like we did on the shoulder curving across the tops with that same curve that we have on the edge of the power glove. From here, let's get into the body. So in the chest here, I want to give them a little furry chest because I'm going to give them a little bit of a vest here. So see this curve here? I'm going to go behind the face and just pull out towards the arm here. So here, I'm just going to draw a curve on both sides like that. We're going to trim this up just like we did with the shoulders, curving across like that. And we're going to draw a little bit of uh, fur along the chest. So what we're going to do is starting down here, we're just going to do a little row of little curves like that. Little curve and up. Curve, up. I'm going to change directions, going the opposite way. Up, up. Maybe one more here. Now from this point, I want to step down and just to make it look like the fur is on top of the vest, I'm going to step down and curve up underneath the chin. So the chin's going to overlap a bit. So we can actually extend this line a little bit more. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing, so curving around like that. Now, because you're not going to see much of the lower body, I'm just going to indicate a little bit of the lower chest and the lower torso. 
So right here, we're going to draw the lower part of the body. Curve from left to right. We'll draw a little bit of detail. So I'm just going to show that he's got a big chest with some abdomen. So here, I'm going to draw a curve that goes across. And then here, I'll probably just draw a couple angle lines for the stomach area. Maybe a separation line down the center for the chest. For the lower torso, you're going to see lower torso, he's got some really short legs. So from here, I'm just going to draw a curve for the lower torso. And then here on the left side, I'm just going to draw a curve for the back of the heel on the left foot and on the right. So you can see that he's like squished down, he's actually crouched. The foot in behind the arms is going to come out this way. So you're going to see some toes. I'm just going to draw a curve like this for the first toe. Overlap the second toe. And then up here, I'll just tuck in a third one like that. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So curving around. Up here, we'll curve the second toe. And then the third, pull that in like that. We'll draw a few like details. So it's some rivets along the top edge of the arm. Starting from the outside here, I'm just going to draw almost like a C shape here. On the out inside part of the arm, I'll draw the opposite. In here, I'm just going to draw a couple of circles for some rivets. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So a C shape there. And on the end, in here, we'll draw those circles for the inner rivets. And because this character is very powerful, he needs something to thrust him forward and to break large objects. So I'm going to put thrusters on his back, so these little jetpacks. So we'll put one on this side on the left and one on the right. So up here on the left side, I'm just going to draw a curve. Just following that same curve in the back. From this corner, I'm going to angle down. This one will angle out. So it's kind of pinched in like this. We're going to take that and draw a smaller one in here. So up here, draw a shorter curve. And then tuck that in like that. So that's a very simple little thruster detail. We'll do the same thing on this side. So starting at the top curve. Right here, we'll curve around the top. And we'll pull this down in an angle. Up here, we'll pull an angle. And we'll do that twice. So I'm just going to draw the sides first. And then complete the top with a curve like that. One little fun detail I want to add is the little tonsils in the back. So back here, I'm going to draw the little punching bag. A little U-shape. From here, I'm going to curl around to the bottom. And then back up on the opposite side. We'll color that in black. like so and that's pretty much it there we have it there's our original creation using a silverback gorilla as our inspiration we're going to call him the crusher thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon